In this video, we're going to see if we can create our shadows. Now, there's a lot of ways to do this. We could paint on top of our apple. Um, in my case, I think what I'm going to do is see if I can uh, just kind of paint underneath it for most of it. So let's see what see what that does. We'll see how that looks. Um, all right, I'm going to start by using a selection tool to create the bottom edge. Now, I'm going to use my lasso tool, which I feel pretty comfortable with. So I'm going to just draw down here. Now I don't feel comfortable making this curve this way. So what I'm going to see if I can do is rotate my picture. So I rotate my picture like this and then go to my selection tool. I'm going to feel much more naturally able to create this curve. Just like that. Okay. And um, if you need to add something to it no problem you can always just hold down uh, shift and I'm gonna add a little bit right here and try and create a nice good selection make another addition right here alright and uh, then we'll click back on our um, rotate view tool and I'm gonna reset my view alright so I have this selection for the bottom of my apple and what I want to do is basically paint on down here on my drawing layer. So I'm going to change my drawing layer's name to Shadow. And I'm going to use um, a paintbrush and switch over to a soft brush. Let's see, this is pretty large. Eh, maybe not large enough. Yeah, something like that. And um, the key to making a nice shadow is first analyzing how the shadow looks. It's much fuzzier out here. It becomes clearer over here. So what I'm going to do is basically select the inverse of my selection. So I'm painting outside. And uh, I can paint with black. Um, maybe, maybe not even black. Um, I'm going to paint but I'm going to tell it to paint with a really low opacity. So I'm going to turn my opacity way down. Okay. Let's see how that does. Okay. Now, I want you to see what's going on. As I'm trying to paint um, underneath this stuff, you'll see that some of my other layers stuff is showing up. Like on the right here, I have some of those dots that were made in an earlier video. So what I really need to do is be doing this on a higher layer. So I'm going to move up to the top move this up higher. I'm going to drag the shadow all the way to the top layer. Now, um, I'm not worried about these lines. I'll get rid of those in a little bit. Um, so on this shadow layer here, I'm just going to kind of paint out here. And I'm going to start painting opaque, meaning I'm going to also paint white, or this grayish blue color, kind of come inwards. So you see I'm making my lines go away. Okay. All right. And I'm going to shoot my brush some. And remember, you have to use a lot of strokes to do this, but that makes it softer, okay? And then let's go and see if we can make that come out a little more again. All right. So we have this shadow popping out over here. All right. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to make my brush much smaller. And I'm also going to make it a harder edge so that I can create a much darker edge shadow down here. Why don't you see how that's looking? Make it kind of ring out a little bit right there. You can kind of see it forming an edge right there a little bit. And I'm going to make it definitely blacker. So I'm switching to black. Let's see. All right. Very nice there. Nice and crisp. And uh, I'm going to soften this up just a little bit again. And make it a little bigger and see if I can make that fade out. Very nice. All right. And um, you know, these lines and stuff, I don't really need. I'm going to go ahead and just erase them up here. So I'll erase those lines out here. And then we'll say select inverse, and I'll erase them down in here. All right. And we'll select deselect. So now, any issues you might have down here, you will honestly need to take the time right now to fix them. So I'm going to um, be back on my shadow layer, and I'm going to shrink my brush some and I'm going to see if I can 
make this edge much clearer here, much nicer. And just kind of clean up that edge. Just kind of work it in nice and neat. Um, I'm going to make it uh, cut off a little more here. I'm going to make it cut off a little more. And down here, a little further over. So I'm just kind of working this nice and slow to make a nice crisp edge. And um, let's see, I think that, yeah, down here is part of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase that little area right there to make that nice and crisp. All right. And um, if you wanted to add some more color around the outside edge, this would be the time to do that. You can get rid of the underpainting layers um, palette. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that palette on the underpainting layer. And um, maybe all the way out here, I think I might also just make a really super large, super large, wow, huge, and really soft and really low opacity and just kind of make some darker haze in the corner, kind of like maybe a vignette or something. And uh, maybe make it a little darker. There we go. Something like that. And up in this corner as well. And anyway, now I don't want you to worry um, too much about your um, shape if it's a little off or there's a little issue. Remember, you are trying to make a painting. It's not going to recreate the world, okay? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it.